Did you know that there's a castle in Victoria, British Columbia? Well, there is, and we're going into it next on Cash Canada. <laughs> this is Victoria. This is Vancouver Island. Before we start geocaching on this episode, we're going to go visit Craig Durot Castle. Craig Durot Castle is an amazing Victorian experience. It is a prime example of massive houses built for entrepreneurs who became wealthy during the Industrial Age. In this case, the industrialist was Robert Dunsmuir, a Scottish immigrant who made his fortune from Vancouver Island coal. This legendary Victorian mansion, built on a hill overlooking the city of Victoria, announced to the world that Robert Dunsmuir was the richest and most important man in Western Canada. It was built between 1887 and 1890. Robert died in April 1889, 17 months before construction was completed. His sons took over the role of finishing the home, and his son James commissioned the construction of Victoria's second castle, Hatley Castle, which we visit in our next episode. The immense fortune of the Dunsmuir family is reflected in the four floors of exquisite stained glass windows, the intricate woodwork, and the fabulous Victorian era furnishings. Robert's wife lived in the castle until her death in 1908. Passing through several owners, the building later served as a military hospital, college, offices, and a conservatory before it was repurposed into a historical museum in 1979. The museum is currently owned by the Craig Durock Castle Historical Museum Society. This prominent landmark was designated as a National Historic Site of Canada in 1992. Its Scottish perennial design combines an eclectic fusion of elements borrowed from various architectural styles to evoke the romantic image of a hilltop castle. Wow, what a cool place. The woodworking in that place is amazing. Just, mm -hmm. They said it was all brought in in pieces and put together there. Wow, just amazing. Who knew Victoria had a castle? Yeah, we didn't for sure, but now we do, and so do you. We hope you enjoyed that. Let's go get some caches. That webcam that we got on last One Minute Wednesday was a real high point for me. Mm. Well, I really enjoyed going to Craig Rock Castle. That yeah. was amazing to see. It was. But now it's time to get on to doing some geocaching. Mm -hmm. And right now we're going to do an earth cache right down there. Oh my. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> caches in the area or Canada deals with glaciation and this is one just the same and right behind where Lyric class is sitting you can see two examples of the questions that are being asked is one is a rock manatee where the glacier has hit the rock and carved it up broken it off and behind her left shoulder is an area where you can see striations where the glacier has carved into the rock as rocks have been moved along with the glacier
So we've got that earth cache. Just needed four pictures of the different items that the earth cache owner wanted. Now we're going to kind of skirt the edge of the sea to the next earth cache rather than going all the way back up and coming all the way back down. Let's go see that one. A couple of pictures taken for the second earth cache. We're on our way to more geocaching. Because it doesn't just end there. We stop for a little bit of a drink and then we're off again to some more geocaching. The one we're going after next is a virtual with three locations. Ooh. Yeah. We got to go all the way out to the end of a pier. Oh, it looks really cool. So mm -hmm. I want to walk on the pier. This location is second waypoint for the virtual and also one location for an adventure lab. The last stage for the virtual is at the end of this long pier. So that would be stage number three. We'll be able to log that one probably in time to end this episode because we're losing our light. We got the Adventure Lab. Yep, and we finalized the virtual here with the third waypoint here at the lighthouse. It's been a busy day with the castle and all the adventure labs and the virtuals and the webcam. And the earth cache and we're climbing on the rocks. We had a great time. Don't forget to come back next week for more adventures here in Victoria and Vancouver Island. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? Victoria! <laughs>